Okay, just a few uh, clothing options and a little bit of gear um, that I'm going to be taking with me on the Tough Mudder uh, this Saturday, October 13th in uh, Utah. The temperature uh, in the morning is going to be in the 40s. Uh, later in the afternoon it will get up into the 60s, but for most of the race it's going to be cold and uh, very wet because uh, the night before uh, there's going to be rainstorms, there may even be a little bit of rain Saturday morning. So let me just go through what I have here, what I've narrowed it down to. Uh, as far as shoes, this is very important, something I stressed out a lot about, but after reading some online reviews, I went with the Solomon uh, Tech Amphibian 3s. They're kind of a hybrid water shoe and a trail running shoe. They have an aggressive tread, but they have a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of mesh there, so a lot of uh, places for water to drain out at. Uh, it has a pole string uh, type lacing system, also a pole string on the heel to tighten it up, and they cinch up really tight, so they are not as likely to come off in the mud as some other shoes. There shouldn't be any need to tape them. A lot of people have said these work well for the Tough Mudders, and that's what I'm going with. Um, I'm using the same insoles as well, kind of a little bit of a stability insole, the same ones that I've been training with in my running shoe. I'll just have those in, in there. If I change things up too much, I might get some cramps in my legs. Uh, just kind of a, a good, thin running sock. These are the Nike Dry Fits. Uh, they're not going to absorb any water. They're going to wick um, some of the moisture. They're going to dry off quicker and not be uh, soggy like other socks would be. And uh, we're just going to have some regular Under Armour compression shorts. Again, it's non-absorbent material, um, fast drying. And uh, this is the uh, heat gear version uh, because I couldn't find the cold gear ones. The, that I wanted the cold gear compression shorts, but there's really not that big of a difference. And where I'm going to be submerged in water, these will uh, still do the trick because they're going to dry off pretty fast. Just some simple running shorts, thin, 100% polyester, no cotton in any of our clothing here today. Uh, they're not going to absorb any water and they're going to dry quick. One thing that I I'm really excited about. For the top, we're going with a uh, neoprene uh, wetsuit type vest. This is 2.5 millimeters thick. As you can see, it's a front zipper version, so it's easy to get in and out of. Um, this provides a lot of insulation, even you know when fully submerged in water. Like I said, it's made from a wetsuit. Um, same materials, wetsuits. Gloves, uh, a little controversial for the Tough Mudder, but um, there's a couple options here. I haven't narrowed it down completely yet. Uh, I guess it'll depend when I get there in the morning how cold I think it is. Uh, these are neoprene gloves. They're the same type that um, you know scuba divers would wear. Again, they're going to give you insulation even in, in water. And I also have these really thin, cheap um, Gorilla Grip gloves. These things are awesome. I cut the tips off to let some water drain out. They have a good grip. I even tried them on the monkey bars and um, they didn't seem to affect my grip at all. They only helped it. So those could be another option. Now I have to wear um, corrective lenses. Uh, I don't want to wear contacts if I get stuff in my eyes. You know, and contacts are so uncomfortable to me anyway, I end up messing with them, and I can't be doing that if I'm getting all, you know, muddy and dirty throughout the course. So I just have a pair of glasses that I don't care about, an old pair that I keep around just for things like this. And um, I guess we'll see how they work. I, I know they're going to get muddy, I know they're going to get you know, really dirty and I'll try to keep them clean, wipe them off on my inside of my shorts or something, but they're there if I need them. If 
they're not working, then I guess I'll be running um, through the course a little bit blurry, but I still want to have that option. I am bringing a hydration pack. However, I uh, don't have the bladder in it because I don't like the tube dangling down on this, getting all dirty, maybe even broken. So what I have in here is just uh, one Gatorade. and one Ziploc bag with uh, some energy gels and uh, also some little instant heat packs uh, that might help a lot if I find that I'm really cold I can place those you know on the armpits or someplace like that where I can get some heat well that's it